Okay, now Mr. Bricklayer Betha is at last uncovering Diddy's unlawful undertaking with T. Jake. Apparently, Mama has had enough of staying silent about Diddy's genuine person and has uncovered Diddy totally. It turns out Diddy and T. D. J. X. had been concealing their relationship for quite a while. And Mace, as of late, emerged with some tea that as well as blaming Diddy for holding the vocations of the multitude of artists endorsed to Terrible Kid Records prisoner by pressing them into freakouts with him well. That is not something you ought to remember for the agreement right yet. Mace isn't yet finished and is prepared to uncover all that he knows, so what precisely did Mama say? How about we find out and I need to let you why you know if Satan can utilize him forcefully, then I believe you should realize. God could utilize me aggressive ditties constantly had a standing, and assuming you've been following the information in the business you'll know that more often than not, he engages in debates to one of The most shocking may be the allegation including conceivable abuse of specialists under his awful kid mark and reports have been recommending that he either came up short on them or didn't pay them by any means in a large number of the cases, yet this is just a hint of something larger on the Grounds that it turns out Diddy would likewise do a ton of sketchy things to his craftsmen, and I could go on and on with how he purportedly treated Cassie. There were lots of stories before Cassie recorded them. A stunner claim, for instance, Tanya Obtuse unveiled that Diddy made her record somewhere in the range of 50 and 60 tunes that she could have done without, after which he terminated her as a craftsman and dropped her whole collection anyway. Things deteriorate on the grounds that she chooses to hurt herself after the profound cost of the collection and the absence of consideration for her music made up for lost time to her. I figure we can all concur that Diddy's activities somehow set off her endeavor. Or on her life, it was the hardest choice since that was the way I had the option to give and deal with my family at the time it was so difficult it broke me. It truly did. I went into treatment with self-destructive considerations and even at endeavored self-destruction, Yet it molded me at the time. Tanya added, I was there. I was in a Dallas clinic on a 72-hour watch. I had taken pills. I concluded this is all there is to it. My child was fine. He would have individuals to deal with him. I just surrender. Ed, this isn't the finish. All things considered. Do you review the club shooting in 1999 that elaborate Diddy and his sweetheart at the time Jennifer Lopez? And do you all recollect how Diddy was hit with a couple of charges following that episode and was nearly going to prison? Before the charges were in the end dropped it just so happens. The sole clarification for why things didn't come to court was on the grounds that Diddy had made one of his craftsmen sparkle who was available at the club as some the fault by blaming everything on him his previous protector even cases that Diddy paid observers to give misleading declaration against sparkle during the preliminary in a portion of those individuals who offering expression they was offering expressions against Sean, yo brother pay. Attention to me, you all meeting it for me, yet scenes said it himself in his meeting. You expected to be my sibling and you got individuals testifying against me. Those individuals were affirming they were brought. To Puff, first saying that they, what they saw against Sparkle, what they saw Sean do, the day didn't actually realize those individuals existed. You comprehend what I'm talking about. The insane thing about this, you all, is that Terrible Kid Records put out Sparkle during his time in prison in a meeting. From 2020, Sparkle additionally checked that Diddy had misdirected him. Truth be told, Diddy even made a statement of regret, which Sparkle affirmed, saying, Puff apologized. He was sorry to me for that. When we met in Paris, he said that he might have dealt with it better yet. He was under a ton of strain from the legal advisors to blame everything on me yet truly. That statement of regret can't fix the harm right in view of this. It ought to shock no one that his previous specialists are generally not. Supporting him in these fights in court, more regrettable a few specialists are approaching to uncover him unequivocally, like Mama and Betha, who uncovered what chaotic things did he cause them to do moreover. Apparently, Mace is tired of watching Diddy carry on like a typical spectator, which is the reason he emerged to spill his tea. He's presently saying that Diddy constrained his craftsmen into freak-offs with him, and that Diddy had a drawn-out relationship with Minister T.D. Jakes is despite the fact that Mace left terrible kid records quite a long time back. Apparently, he actually harbors a profound hatred towards Diddy, and that hostility is probably not going to disappear at any point in the near future. Believe it or not, I don't for even a moment fault him for conveying sharpness on the grounds that 
as well as heading out in different directions from Terrible Kid Records based on awful conditions he likewise evidently didn't get pay, simply envision really buckling down and afterward not getting compensated after I'll be really distraught too. He guarantees that Diddy went around slandering him in the business and kept him from marking with another mark that answers why Mace was always unable to sign a record bargain in the wake of leaving Awful Kid and didn't work in the music business again on top of this Mace has consistently kept up with that he was not made up for composing most of Diddy's raps during the 1990s yet, as well as denying this Diddy ridiculed. Mason called him a phony minister who was attempting to deceive individuals Mace one collection. How much cash do you think I owe this person one collection and afterward? He turned into a phony minister and proceeded to con individuals. This suggests the way that subsequent to stopping the business Mace turned into a minister yet Mace finds ironically Diddy called him a phony minister thinking about that Diddy is truly companions with Minister T.D. Jake who has been subbed to length for quite a long time Judas fall eyes do. To this, Mace is currently emerging to uncover the undertaking among Diddy and T. I. Y. Jake yet, before we would that I like to examine what Mace needs to say regarding Diddy returning his craftsman's magnum opus. Says to them so recall the gigantic declaration that he made back in September when he returned the distributing freedoms to the tunes his specialists had delivered on his name, he had been the main proprietor of the distributing privileges so out of nowhere, he decided to return them completely out. Of regard, he said, it's making the best decision I feel that we as an industry and as individuals need to search in the mirror and make a shift forward. It's tied in with developing showing others how it's done and changing an industry that needs it in a world that needs change. Mace guarantees that Diddy was involving it as an exposure trick to ebb and flow favor with however many individuals as could reasonably be expected, who know about his insider facts he was endeavoring to consider every contingency at the time by endeavoring to privately address any remaining issues as I recently referenced Mace, has a firmly established resentment towards Diddy, and he's presently approaching to uncover a few. Pretty upsetting mysteries since Cassie chose to drop her claim a many individuals have been guessing that Diddy will cut down a ton of others' names like Youthful Miami and Harvey Wharf, the previous leader of Awful Kid Records who is likewise being scrutinized, have been tossed around like sprinkled. Anyway, T.I.Y.J.S. Diddy's closest companion and minister seems, by all accounts, to be forgotten by everybody for reasons unknown since we should confront it T.D. Jakes isn't your typical minister he guarantees. Tease that God is agreeable to us making as much money as possible without going into the commonplace sermonizing stuff truly deciding by the way that he invests more energy with celebrities than the regular churchgoer he's sort of fixated on the excitement and marvelousness of VIP life as a matter of fact, Diddy has advanced into T.D. Jake's go-to VIP companion throughout the course of recent years. Their security has become areas of strength for so individuals are beginning to contemplate whether D Here's something else to it since Diddy is constantly denied being gay bits of hearsay about him being covertly associated with T.D. Jake, began to circle especially considering the bits of hearsay that T.I. Jake may likewise be in the storeroom. This was on the grounds that the two had forever been very close and their kinship traces all the way back to the days when Diddy was all the while dating Kim Watchman T. I.Y. even offered a recognition when the entertainer died. He even concurred when Diddy recruited. Stead that he pried over Kim's burial service. Yes, they're actually that nearby and all through the long periods of their fellowship tea. I, Y, Jake hosts reliably went to Diddy's gatherings. Given that Diddy isn't precisely known for being an extraordinary person, this has recently raised a ton of eyebrows. While I don't intend to sound critical, there's been a ton of conversation about Diddy's confidential exercises, especially at his gatherings even before the Cassie occurrence, since the 1990s anecdotes app. Out Diddy's gatherings have been boundless, and there have been bits of gossip about different types of devilishness at these occasions. So what precisely was T.D. Jake doing a large number of years at these gatherings? Puma Wright was there to answer her questions, and she said a couple of Extremely fascinating things Panther didn't show sugarcoat her words, and went focused she uncovered that T.T. and Puff would toss these extravagant gatherings to fulfill themselves nothing more, nothing less do you too. Pink T.D. Jakes was at Puff Daddy's birthday celebration, assuming that Cleric Jakes was at a Diddy party. 
There must be two Reese's cash, or that is all that occurs at Diddy Party's cash mace is supposedly presently supporting Panther's disclosure that Diddy and K.Y. Jakes are truly cozy. Accomplices no standby as per Inner's Diddy likes to get everything with a couple of male accomplices, including T.I.Y. Jakes, who's been remaining unnoticed just by being casual for quite a long time, yet hang on, there's more. You recall Cassie's case that Diddy caused her to perform Freakoff's mace guarantees that Diddy likewise supposedly constrained this craftsman into Freakoff so she wasn't the only one Mace and Cameron were showcasing the oddity shows that Diddy had caused them to partake in Diddy purportedly had. This bizarre commencement thing where he essentially made his craftsmen freak off after he marked them, and it's likewise said that he provided them with a ton of medications, it's supposed that the special Lists who declined never had their music delivered, they were given up without giving a decent 